And now let's turn our attention to China. At about midnight last night, the country saw its deadliest earthquake in almost a decade. A 6.2 magnitude earthquake hit China's Gansu province. More than 120 people have died. More than 700 are injured. Thousands of rescue workers are scrambling to find survivors. They're facing aftershocks, landslides, and a bitter cold wave. Below freezing temperatures have shortened the rescue window. Our next report has the details. At just a minute to midnight on December 18th, disaster struck China. At 11.59 on December 18, 2023, a 6.2 magnitude earthquake occurred in Linxia. The depth of the earthquake was 10 kilometers. The affected region is in China's Gansu province, home to about 260,000 people. Many were already asleep when disaster struck. As of 7.50 on December 19th, the earthquake has killed 105 people. That was the report from Gansu this morning. The nearby Qinghai province has seen over a dozen casualties as well. As of 12 noon on December 19th, nine townships in the southern part of our county suffered varying degrees of disaster and damage, with a total of 179 people wounded and killed, including 13 deaths, 38 serious injuries, 128 minor injuries, 20 people are missing. Hundreds of people have been injured. Many are still trapped beneath the debris. Thousands of rescue workers have been dispatched to the affected areas. The Chinese military and local police forces are also involved in the rescue operations. They've apparently been given orders by the Chinese top brass to speed up the rescue efforts. But it looks like a difficult task, due to the bitter cold. Temperatures in the earthquake-affected areas hit minus 13 degrees Celsius today. They will lower the chances of pulling out survivors from beneath the debris. There's usually a golden 72-hour window after every earthquake. That's the time when the most lives can still be saved. But the cold in China will likely shorten that window. Which is why it is imperative to get more help to the region and fast. Thousands of homes have been leveled. Many collapsed because of the sheer force of the earthquake. Others have been destroyed by the landslides that followed. Electricity and communication lines have been knocked out by the disaster. Many Gansu and Qinghai residents had to flee their homes last night. They spent the night in makeshift shelters or even out in the open. This is not sustainable. The people need help to withstand these dire conditions. Beijing has begun disbursing disaster relief funds. About $28 million have been allocated to Gansu and Qinghai but more will likely be required. This isn't the first earthquake to hit the region. The Gansu province is located at the edge of the Tibetan plateau. Qinghai is part of that plateau. It is a seismically active zone. Earthquakes are common. A long-term solution like earthquake-proof construction is the only answer. If not, disaster may strike the area again in the future.